Hey everybody, Jordan, aka Brixie here. Welcome back to another LEGO shopping vlog. Why am I going shopping? Because I actually have to leave the house to go to my P.O. box, and I figure, well, why not check out some stores that sell LEGO? In fact, we're going to be going to five different retail outlets that sell LEGO. Two of them are going to be official LEGO stores. I'm pretty excited, not sure if we're going to find some sets on sale, find some sets that are on my wanted list, or maybe just do some window shopping. But Let's roll on out and do some Lego shopping. Woohoo! First stop, it's Walmart. Last time we were here, it was a little bit dangerous. We found a lot of good things on sale. So we're trying a Walmart that I haven't been to in a while. And this Walmart here actually has the largest selection of Lego of any in the city. You get the Friends stuff right here. Some classics. I'm always looking for deals, right? So we're looking for these yellow tags. For example, this is regular $39.86 Canadian on for $29. But you'll see a lot of them are actually sold out. $19. Now these are still boxing day sales, so no wonder why they're mostly sold out. Looks like we got the fire truck right here for $7. Not really my thing. Also, down here we have the Sky Police set that was on sale for $19 from $29. That would have been a really good deal. It seems like they're all gone. It's just no big deal, it happens, right? Duplo set here for $19, definitely won't be getting that. And some Jurassic World stuff. Superheroes and also Ninjago. There was some sales down there. Ooh, that would have been a good one. The Golden Mech. Oh, that's the one that I saw at the other store, but it wasn't uh, wasn't available. And then we have, oh, Star Wars set. Death Star Cannon on sale for $19 from $25. Not a smoldering deal. A little bit of a discount there. Some new release Mario stuff. Some Disney stuff and also Trolls. Along with Minecraft. Now, I did spot one deal. Did you guys spot it? They would have been on the send cap. But this is actually one that I'm gonna get from this Walmart today. Regular $29, it's on sale for $19. And you get Rex, Forky, and some other characters there from Toy Story 4. Also Jesse. And that's a cool little camper for $19. I like those minifigs. I scoured some of the clearance aisles here and I didn't see any additional Lego deals. Most of them are pretty much gone because there's some old sales. But there is some pretty cool selection here. Specifically, I was really having a look at some of these mechs in the Ninjago section, which look pretty cool. Also, I see that they have the Great Hall in stock right now as well. But I think all I'm gonna get today is just this little guy right here. I don't think you can go wrong getting those minifigures for $19. I think it's time to move on to our next LEGO shopping destination. Next up is uh, Mastermind Toys. You just never know what you're gonna find here. Sales, deals, retired sets. Who could know? Looks like they actually have the old road plate system here, but these are the crossroad and turns, so I'm not really interested in that. I've always been intrigued by these minifig display cases. However, it could get fairly expensive when you have as many minifigs as I do, and those display cases are fairly pricey. I'll stick to putting them on the newly constructed Brixie wall, which you saw at the beginning of this video here. I don't think I see any retired sets at first glance. Got all those Ninjago pods there in the Ninjago section. Some Speed Champs, Harry Potter, City. Friends, classic, stuff like that. We also have two large carts here that aren't even worked onto the shelves yet. Like Grogu. What's this for a hundred bucks? Oh, that's Dio. And a bunch of art sets down here as well. Sith art. 501st Battle Pack. But I don't think they're having any sales or deals right now at Mastermind Toys. It's cool to see those road plates. But that might actually bring us to our next destination that quick and easy. So it is confirmed that there is no sales or deals here at Mastermind Toys. Let's go check out Toys R Us next and then 
two Lego stores. Toys R Us. I love this department in this particular Toys R Us. It's like the shape of it. <laughs> it's got so much Lego jammed into a nice clean area here. Looks fantastic. You know what looks even better? This right here. Avengers, Marvel, DC. Ooh, 15% off all $39.99 and up Lego Star Wars and superheroes. Excludes clearance items with eight and prices ending in nine four. Whew, let's see if we can find anything. So that does sound like a pretty good deal, 15% off. We could save 15% on things like the Avengers Tower, some of these larger Avengers sets like this here, which is the Avengers Compound, or the uh, Helicarrier, which comes with some pretty great minifigures. I've been holding off getting that. My uh, Avengers Hall of Armor is big enough. We could also save on, this one looks pretty interesting, the Molten Man. I'm just not a huge collector of like the mechs and whatnot. Couldn't do it on Wonder Woman. Not a huge fan of it. Don't really want to get it anyway. Although the gold elements do look pretty cool. We got the mobile bat base right here. And also the bat cave clay face invasion. If I was building a custom bat cave of some sort. Sorry, the kids got a little bit loud there. If, the, uh, if I was building some sort of a uh, custom bat cave or something like that. I'd definitely be interested in that. For Star Wars, this is literally all they have in stock. So they have the duel on Mustafar. The sale will not apply to that. They also have Obi-Wan's hut. 200 pieces, $39.99. We'd save 15%. I think these are the best deals in the house right now. So we got the uh, Iron Man helmet, the Boba Fett helmet, and also the Stormtrooper helmet, in which we would save 15% on. I don't see any other Star Wars sets anywhere else in the store. I see some of the art sets right here along with the Architecture Empire State Building. I don't see the TIE Fighter pilot helmet. That seems to be the hardest one to find and I also don't see any of the Sith arts as well. I'm actually going to check out the Mega Constructs aisle here as well because I see that it's 25% off all uh, Halo, Call of Duty and also Pokemon building sets. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Mega Constructs. I do have the Energy Sword and also the Helmet, but I think I'm just gonna stick with that. One thing that Toys R Us doesn't carry and it sort of bothers me is the large Pelican Inbound. I would like to get that in this lineup, but I don't see it here nor on their website. Now, I am sort of a cohesive set guy, so this doesn't really make sense to get. It's just not cohesive, although it does come with some radical minifigures. It's just not a cohesive build that would go, look good on my shelves. I just don't know if I can leave a, a deal like 15% off behind. Ooh, the Batwing is pretty cool, and you also get the uh, helicopter. That's pretty interesting, and these vehicles look pretty cool as well. The Joker's trike chase, interesting. I don't know, it's not really up my alley. I'm more into the big cohesive sets. So I think I'm gonna leave the superhero department as it lies there. I'm not gonna take anything from it, but I'm strongly considering getting one of each of these helmets to add to my investment stack. Oh, I'm truly on the fence. I really don't know if I should do that. You know what, I've seen the helmets lots. They're, they're fairly common. And I've seen them for a better price at uh, Mastermind Toys. They were sometimes 20% off or sometimes buy one, get the second one half off. Crazy deal, right? And that would equate to 25% off. I just can't decide if I want to get one or not. Well, apparently I have no chill, so I am going to get them. And I'm going to give you some reasons why. I think they're some of the best sets released in 2020. And there's lots of Star Wars stuff coming out here in 2021. So maybe they'll retire within the next year and they're 15% off. And I think they're gonna be very good because they're the 40th anniversary of the Empire Strike Back sets. And they're pretty wicked. Plus the Iron Man comes with a lot of gold elements which are hard to find. Well, I think we did all right. The three helmets. I say it, I'm serious. Some of the best sets of 2020 right there. 
the three helmets, and of course the uh, TIE Fighter Pilot as well. You know what? I think they're gonna be releasing more helmets, and although they're only about a year old now, I don't think we're gonna see them for long. You know, don't, don't quote me on that. I have no idea how long they'll actually be around for, but they pump out a lot of Star Wars stuff, and it doesn't stay on the shelves for, you know, a long, long time. So I feel confident in buying these for the future. And even if they are on the shelf for a long, long time, a year or two, oh well, they're gonna be good sets because they're epic. They're sort of the first of their kind, like the helmet series, right? And I think they're gonna do more of the helmet series. Plus they were some of the first ones in the 18 plus style packaging. And I love them. So there's my merit off to the next Lego store, which is the Lego store. So now I'm actually at the Southgate Mall to go to the Lego store. And I haven't been to this Lego store since the other one opened, I think in November or October. That's the one in West Edmonton Mall. Because why would I go here when that store is just bigger, has more selection, is more well stocked? Although I will say the staff here, I know them quite well. And it's going to be nice to see some familiar faces at this store. Here it is. It's the Lego store in Southgate. I haven't been here in so long. It's actually a, almost a breath of fresh air. I like how small and condensed it is. It looks awesome, you know? You got Moss Isley in the front window here. You got the bookshop in the pet, sorry, the bookshop in the police station in the front window as well. And the Ninjago City Gardens, along with a beautiful art display right there and the Batwing right above Vader. That looks pretty awesome. You got the free monster book or book of monsters uh, with Harry Potter purchases and also the Lunar New Year. Celebrate with us gifts under $24.99. That's cool. Look at that minifigure. That is pretty neat. And of course they have the Coliseum on display as well. And check out this city setup. That's looking fresh, man. That's wicked. I love the cardboard cutout. You got the helicopter and then multiple of the new sets just sort of laid out in front here, including the new style road plates. Pretty wicked. I'm digging this store right now. This is pretty awesome. Harry Potter department. They got the Harry Potter Hogwarts castle in stock. I haven't seen that in a while. That's pretty awesome. I haven't seen this in a while either. The price is what made me not get it. $109.99, 470 pieces. I think it's approaching retirement though, or retired. That's what Kevin was telling me. I don't know if his information's worthy. Hey, look who showed up. And you know what? I was wrong. That's, that's the wrong TIE fighter. It's, yeah, I, I was Way spread, wrong. spreading false rumors. About, Way wrong. Uh, false rumors about Kevin's information. <laughs> 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 and also check this out. They got the new Ferrari. They built it and they didn't put the stickers on it. And I don't mind that. I heard there's like 50 stickers or something like that in there, which is pretty crazy when you consider that the big set that I just built in Jago City Gardens has 66 stickers and that set's a lot bigger than, than that car there. But I guess they make it look like the real race car, they gotta add stickers. There is some stuff on sale here as well, like Overwatch Friends, uh, the Lego store, was that picture frame? You got some, some bunnies here, some of the Ninjago stuff. And then uh, I guess Toy Story, oh look at that. The Avengers compound. We just saw that at Toys R Us, 15% off. I'm not sure what 111.99, what percentage that is. I would only get it for the minifigures. Well, once again, I'm a cohesive build style guy, so not really my thing. I would be interested in getting the graveyard out of the hidden side stuff. I don't really collect a whole lot of hidden side stuff, but I would definitely be interested in getting the graveyard, maybe even two of them and building a graveyard in the Lego city. I think that would be pretty cool. And you know what guys, here in the Creator Expert Art 18 plus section, whatever you wanna call it, there's some good stuff. We got the Spring Lantern Festival, we got Birch Books, we also got uh, Sesame Street, of course. Uh, the DB7, that's probably gonna be, uh, or, or sorry, the DB5, that's probably gonna be retiring relatively soon. That'll be the next Creator car to go. We are getting a new Porsche, and that might wipe out another one of those cars, although we just lost the Volkswagen, uh, both Volkswagens, the, the camper van and also the Beetle. You know what I'm gonna get today from this Lego store is I'm gonna get the Mickey art because 
I already got uh, the one from Shaka, thank you so much. And I wanna get two of them so that Jose can build Minnie and I can build Mickey. We gotta have a look at the wall, right? For sure. Hey, check it out. It's these quarter round tiles. I use turquoise to top my planters. Those are like the dark red. That would look pretty neat too. If I like swap them up, switched them up, you know, alternated them in the city, that would be pretty cool. Ooh, we also have some of these tiles as well. Those are uh, great for uh, tiling the top of those quarter round, the other quarter round bricks that I got. And that would actually be uh, really beneficial for topping the planters that I plan to build with those in the amusement park, especially when you factor in the color that those are right here. That's a nice vibrant color that would look fantastic in the amusement park. And who doesn't have enough brooms? Cause you got lots of brooms here. <laughs> I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a cup of, uh, of these so I can pair them up with the amusement park planters and also a cup of these, or, or sorry, I'm gonna split a cup half, half so that I can get some of these as well and uh, alternate our colors. Also, I think we're gonna build hidden Mickeys and I can do that with these circular pieces so I'll probably throw a few of those into a cup as well. So I guess I'll get one cup here from the pick-a-brick wall in the Lego store at Southgate Mall. I gotta make the change, everybody. I'm changing all my lamp posts to black. These are four, sorry, five dollars here in Canada, the extras. They come with the two lamp posts, also the traffic lights, sorry, the traffic signs, uh, two lanterns there, also some newspaper elements as well for five bucks. And the reason I'm gonna switch them all is because I'm in the process of making um, traffic lights and they're gonna be black. So why not have my lamps the same color? It just sort of makes sense. So we finished off at Lego store number one. Now we're off to Lego store number two. Now I was holding off on getting a particular hidden side set, a graveyard. I'm looking to add a graveyard to the Lego city and I wanted to get two of them and make a large 16 by 32 stud graveyard. Now I didn't get it at Toys R Us, but I did see it there. The reason I didn't get it is because I know that the Lego group is doing sales on hidden side stuff in their stores. They didn't have it there. And I just looked it up online and unfortunately they don't have it at uh, the West side store either. So I don't know if I go back to that Toys R Us, if I go to a different Toys R Us, they don't have it online. It's not showing in store stock. so. I don't know what to do. Uh, maybe I look on Amazon, see if it's on sale there maybe. So I ended up back at the Toys R Us because they do have the graveyard mystery. They only had one of them though. I couldn't believe it. I walked up to the, the rack and a guy had it in his hand and he put it back. But yeah, I was thinking of making a graveyard using the elements in here. It's unfortunate they only have one, but I still should be able to make that work with some of the parts and pieces that I have in my own inventory. Woof, graveyard acquired, that was close. I'm telling you, somebody had it in their hand, put it back, snatched it up, last one. Might even be the last one in the city, crazy. I can get them on lego.com though, so it's not a big deal. I might just do that. Picked up some fan mail from the uh, PO box. Thank you so much once again. And now we're at the West Edmonton Mall Lego store to continue our Lego shopping adventure. So this actually isn't a bad price. It's a uh, regular $139.99 on sale for $111.99. So you save about 28 bucks on that guy, which is more than 15%. So that's pretty good. Now I was looking for another one of those graveyards, but I don't see it here in the hidden side department. I see the high school, also the phantom fire truck and some other smaller sets, but I don't see the graveyard, unfortunately. Oh, uh, that sort of stinks, doesn't it? Also, you can see some of the new Harry Potter books or textbooks built right there. I'm not sure when this set is gonna retire, but I'm sure when it does, it will become quite valuable pretty quickly because it comes with some awesome minifigures. It's 300 bucks here in Canada, 3,120 pieces. It's a great overall build. I love building the T-Rex, which has some Technic in it, and then also the gate, which is really fun. In the Star Wars department here, I just found another sale, and it's on the Droid Command set, which is the boost set. These droids can move around using your uh, downloadable app from any uh, smart device. It's $199.99 on sale from uh, $249.99. And as always, this store looks really well stocked, but of course they don't have any graveyards. 
And of course, this massive pick-a-brick wall always excites me. It's crazy how big it is. And look, they have the one by four black tiles back in stock. They also have one by four light stone gray snot bricks, dark stone gray one by threes, and tan one by twos and one by fours. Wow, you could do some serious city building off of this wall because there's so much part selection. The most interesting part that I see right now, I've never seen this before. Blank head pieces. That is crazy. But yeah, this pick a brick wall is awesome. You can see they have beige one by fours here. Also, I saw beige one by two. So if I was looking to build any sort of mock building, this pick a brick wall is insane. With that said, I have an insane amount of pieces that I've been hoarding away from the pick a brick wall and from my inventory. So I'm not gonna get anything today. I was more so looking for the graveyard, the second one. And unfortunately they don't have that and we did pretty well at the other Lego store. So it's time to roll on out of this one. So my GoPro died because we've been shopping for so long and we didn't have any luck here at uh, this Lego store. However, there's actually one more store right here. It's called Indigo Chapters and they sell Lego too. I haven't been in there to check out their Lego selection. Sometimes they have sales and deals, so we may as well go as there as well. Check it out. They got it in stock. Definitely gonna grab one of those so that we can build our graveyard. Beauty. Indigo chapters pulling through. This too would actually be a good scene to add to your graveyard. This is a Harry Potter, the rise of Voldemort. And that would be awesome because it comes with the Tom Riddle gravestone. I'm gonna grab this right here from Indigo Chapters, sweet. I honestly don't know how this little Lego department could be surviving right here next to Canada's largest Lego store, but look at it, pulled through. I'm sure there's some diamonds in the rough here probably, like retired sets or hard to find sets. And I'm surprised to see, well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised to see some of the newer sets as well, but yeah, it seems like they're fairly well stocked here. And included in that is actually the uh, rescue mission boat there. I didn't see that at the Lego store. So it's interesting. They have some things here that the Lego store doesn't. And I don't really see any sales or deals on right now, but pretty decent that we got this set right here. Definitely a great day of shopping. We have been on the road for about five hours, just over five hours. And now we got to head on home and uh, see what we got in this uh, amazing Lego shopping excursion. I think we did pretty good and got some really cool stuff that's going to be beneficial for uh, the city and also uh, my investment hoard for the future. So it's pretty awesome. So here's our total Lego haul for the day. Not bad. We got one hidden side graveyard, a second hidden side graveyard. We're going to build a cool 16 by 32 stud graveyard for the Lego City, I think. My cat's very interested in what we got as well. And then we got this here, the Toy Story 4 RV Vacation. Comes with some great minifigures, which I'm really excited to add to the collection. Also, take a look, Jose. We got the Mickey art. So when Jose and I build that live here on the channel, I'll build Mickey. She'll be old Minnie. And then we will combine them into one. We also got 10 of the extra poly bags. I'm gonna change all of my lights to black because the street traffic lights that we get or are gonna build, sorry, um, are black. So I figured uh, we may as well change the street lamps so they match. Also got the fire helicopter promo for free. And also this uh, police scooter promo, sort of like a jet ski or something like that. We got one pick a brick cup full of those tiles so that when we do the amusement park planters, we can top those circular uh, bricks. And that's gonna be pretty cool. Also on the pick a wall, I noticed they had some of these. So we we're able to make our Mickey Mouse in the uh, green and yellow color, which will be really cool. And then we also got the three helmets from Toys R Us at 15% off. So Iron Man, Boba Fett, and the Stormtrooper. And we got those for the investment hoard. Of course, my cat is extremely interested in what we got. Hey, yeah, there's no distracting her. <laughs> That's our haul today from the Lego store. What an adventure. Uh, well, the Lego stores, I guess I should say. We went to Walmart, Toys R Us, Mastermind Toys, didn't find anything there. 
the Lego store, then back to Toys R Us, and then to a second Lego store, and then we finished it off at Chapters Indigo for a total of six stores and seven stops. Wow. We did pretty good, I think. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here on my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for the view, and peace out.